Hi everyone, welcome. This is our Team Hustle and Heart Monday night Zoom with a twist. We have some very, very special guests on here joining us tonight. Um, Miss Jade Hooper and her 2.0 team. Um, if you're new and you don't know what 2.0 is, that means that um, this woman built all the way to ambassador and then the company said, all right, do it again. <laughs> so this is her team that is currently in the process of going ambassador all over again, which is just so cool that our company does that for us. Um, so just briefly, if you don't know who I am, my name is Hope Weston. I'm a triple diamond and next week will be my five years with this company, which is so crazy. Um, it has changed my life in so many ways, so many beautiful ways. Um, and it's also brought me through some really tough seasons. We're going to talk about all of the things. I have some pretty specific questions, um, for Jade tonight that I really just feel on my heart. I feel like I need to hear it. I feel like my team needs to hear it. So hopefully everyone will have something that they get out of tonight. Um, that will be so, so good. So, um, I'm just so excited to have Jade on here. You guys, when I was starting executive Ruby Emerald, really until I went diamond and I got added into our like diamonds and above page, like Jade didn't know it, but I learned how to do this business from her YouTube and trial and error. <laughs> so if you feel like you're doing these trainings and you're showing up for your business and maybe no one is watching, you never know when your next triple diamond and above is going to be watching what you're doing and, and what you're saying and taking advice from all of it. So I am just so grateful for her passion and her consistency over the years. Obviously now I've gotten to get to know her and, and go to retreats together and all these fun, amazing things over the last three years since I went diamond um, and then going VIP in April, which has been so much fun to get to that next level. Um, everyone go VIP. It's much more fun, but um, I'm just super grateful for her through those early years where she didn't even know who I was. And so I really hope that um, if you feel a little lost or a little unseen um maybe you've been around the block a time or two but you're just not quite where you want to be i hope you know that me and jade are here for you we show up for you even if we don't necessarily know your names or know your faces yet um we want to we want you to get to that level with us of of diamond and above and of vip and above so um, Jade, I think you can unmute yourself or I can unmute you, but I would love for you to, I think most people on here probably know your story, but if you want to give us just like your synopsis, um, that would be great. And then I do have a few um, questions, but also kind of just like guides for you as we go through this. Totally. Hi guys. And you know what I love so much? I love when I see um, moms, just like a bunch of moms sitting with their babies and stuff, because that was me um, when I, you know, got started. So you guys, I've been a part of this business since I was 22. I got started when I was 20. No, it was it 23, 2013. So it was right before I turned, like literally right before I turned um, 23. Um, I was a first time mom. And, you know, for me, I don't know how many of you guys either are a single mom or grew up with a single mom. One of those, one of those kind of life. So my mom was actually a single mom. She had me when she was 18 years old and yeah, I want to see your guys' faces. We all look like crap. We all had a long day. We all had a Monday. I know that it's a holiday, but our kids were home. And so my kids were home. I've, I'm covered in stains. You can't see them. And I think I'm sitting in cat pee as we speak. So like, amen. Okay. We're here. We're here. So, um, my mom had me when she was 18 years old. Okay. And we struggled so bad. So I don't need what's happening this year to struggle. I don't need, um, I don't even have to be a single mom myself to know what that was like, to know what it was like to go without all the things that my friends had, you know, just like clothes that smelled good. Cause they could afford good, you know, laundry detergent, um, to be able to have food in the fridge, to be able to eat lunch at school. I didn't have to go through those things to know that they were possible. And so when I graduated high school. I met my husband. We literally were together for dating for three weeks and we moved in together. We got an apartment, moved in together. Um, and I went to cosmetology school and I busted my butt because I'm not afraid of hard work. How many of you guys are not afraid of hard work? We don't, this is not hard work. We, we, we use our fingers. You know what I mean? We've just got strong. We got, we got, it works pinky. It's a little callus, right? Cause we hold our phones. I was not afraid to bust my butt. I was not afraid to rely on myself. And that's why I wanted to be a hairstylist. I know you probably couldn't tell, but I am licensed 
to be a hairstylist because I was like, crap, like I want to come in and I want to slay. Like I want to make people feel good about themselves and I want to be compensated for like my efforts and compensated for my time. And when you guys, when I was at the salon, you guys might not know this, but when I was at the salon, I got paid almost identical to how we got paid here, how we get paid here, but with limits. Okay. You don't, people don't even realize this. And this is what I love so much. When I was at the salon, I got paid commission off of my clients. Okay. And I wanted them to come back to me. So there was kind of like this residual side, but not really to it commission off of my products. And then also as a salon manager, when my team hit certain sales, I would get a cert, I would get a bonus on like our total sales commission of our whole entire um, team in the salon. But that was limited to the 12 or 13 girls that were able to be in there. And with this, I'm not limited, right? We can connect to people all over the place and we get so much more compensated for our time. And that was also something that I didn't love was there'd be a lot of the times when I would be um, pulling the weight of someone else. Have you guys ever like totally worked outside your pay grade before? Like I worked at a restaurant and I would work manager hours open and close and do certain things. And I never got compensated for, for doing that. I was, I was, I was 20 years old working full time and getting paid as much as the 16 year olds that were right next to me when I had been working there for six, six years. So I don't know what, what, what situation you guys have ever been in, but when I found this business, it just quite frankly was just because like, I felt sorry for myself for my son's first year of his life. And when I realized that I had been feeling sorry for myself and that, you know, he turned one and that nothing of his life was going to change. And I knew exactly what his future was going to look like, which was exactly what my history was. I wasn't going to allow that to happen. And so I prayed and I never had prayed before ever. And like that weird little voice came in my head that was like, you need to work from home. And I was like, what's happening to me? Like, it was really weird to be feeling like I was like thinking and hearing things. It was just was crazy. And so I started to do my research. And after I gave up, after two weeks of searching a girl and a Facebook mom group messaged me and said that she started this business two weeks prior because her son had diabetes and she just, she had to quit her corporate job because she just wanted to be able to be home with him. And I just was like, well, my son doesn't have diabetes and that's not my problem, but I need to be able to like feed my son and, uh, you know, do what I can to help out at home. Um, and so I got started and it's been seven years now, you guys, seven years, that's a long ass time. And I'm going to tell you what, I remember getting started and seeing the people who had done this for two years. And that was like, I could see two years, but then when I saw the people who had been doing this for four years, that was like a little wild. And then the people who were doing it for seven years, because I think it was just Melody McFarlane at that time, she was doing it for seven years. I was like, that's crazy. People like do this like for like a long time, but here I am. I'm Melody McFarlane. Not really. It's right. <laughs> but, but that is, it's like, now it's the same, like, I feel probably like you did whenever I started, yeah. like you just go through these seasons of your life. And I had this adorable 19 year old join our team last week. And I joined when I was 21 and she was like, talk, she's like 19. She's like just in her first year of college and all this stuff. And I was like, now I'm the old one. Like now I'm the like married with kids, like work from home mom that Jade was when I was a college kid who started this business for a couple extra hundred dollars a month. So um, you just never know where this business is gonna take you. So long story short, you guys, Jade joined, Jade busted her butt. 18 months later, you were a top 10 incomer. Two years later, you were a top 10 incomer. Right? It was a year and a half. So yeah, it was 18 months. It was a year and a half. So I started in, yeah, I started in August. And then by then, so then there was January. So my first year, right. Um, we hit multiple six figures in our first, just my actual first full year. And then just the next the beginning of the year is when I went ambassador and we were top 10. It's so wild to me. And the reason that I bring this up is like, it's not like, it's not to brag. It's just like, I think sometimes people get caught up in their own self-limiting beliefs about how hard it's going to be, how much time it's going to take. It's going to take me, I took not me so long about, to enroll. Oh, what's possible. Customer. Yes. Yes. If about it's even about possible. what's possible. Yes. Yes, exactly. You, co you come into this 
skeptical. You come into this, like, if I could just make my hundred dollars back, that would be great. But when you start to open your eyes and open your mind and open your heart to the possibilities, people always, I, I talk to people all the time on my team who say, God, well, you know, it's been X, Y, Z amount of time and I've only enrolled X, Y, Z people. So how much longer is it going to take me to get to my goals? And I'm always just like, girlfriend, it's going to take you as long as it, as you plan on it taking you if you I just saw that quote the other day that was like when you if you give yourself three years to clean your house it'll take you three years if you give yourself three hours it'll take you three hours how long are you giving yourself to make these goals happen what kind of timeline are you setting for yourself because like jade said she busted her butt you guys she wasn't afraid to get the well we all have loopies now but the it works pinky crutch from holding our phones all the dang time um, and, and she wasn't afraid to stay up late and she can get up early and, and message. Um, one of my favorite things, one of my favorite trainings and attitudes that Jade has ever instilled in me is the just one more. How many messages should I send? Mm -hmm. Just one more. And then just one more. And then just one more. And then just one more, because that really is what it's about. It's not about a certain number. Um, it's just about you consistently doing more and doing more and doing more. And I apologize because my son's upstairs getting ready for bed. So he has things to be angry about apparently. Um, so I would love for you to talk about consistency because that is one of the things that, um, before you even knew me and I was following your post, I, you know, I was on your team, but you didn't enroll me. I wasn't even a potential. I was already on the team. So can we just talk a little bit about what that consistently showing up and going that extra mile, what that does for your business, not just for your potentials, but it from a leadership stance. Because I have a lot of girls on here right now who are in leadership positions, but they need to put a little oomph in it, as, which is also a jadeism. <laughs> yeah, talk about oomph all the time, don't I? Um, well, okay, so first of all, I want, everybody on here to know that you are equally as capable as I am. Okay. And like to take you back <laughs> to a time where, I mean, things, things have changed in the sense of like, there's kind of like kind of more standards that you've got to like with, you can withhold a little bit, especially when it comes to building your business on social media. Because when I started that, you guys, it was taboo no one was building this business on social media. Okay. And so, but the people who were, I didn't look like them. I didn't act like them. I didn't show up like them. I didn't take good pictures. I wasn't like extra beautiful wearing great things and having a white couch. I looked like this. I was breastfeeding. I was running around. Levi was half naked all the time. My house was a mess. I felt very much not equipped to do the things that were like in my soul to do, but I did it because I just outworked everybody else. That's it. That's it. You don't have, I mean, I don't care how you look, your size, your race, who you love, none of that stuff. None of that matters. If you come in and you work hard, you know, I have got a girl who is so freaking capable who told me last night she was going to quit. And she said, I just, I don't know, my Facebook's blocking a lot of things and I just don't feel good. I haven't been working. I'm crying a lot and I'm eating like shit. And I said, well, stop eating like crap, get it together. You want to know why I have to get it together over and over again? Why I have to cry and work at the same time? Cause I've got kids, dude. They don't give two craps what I've got going on. I've got to take care of them. They don't care. They don't care. You know what I mean? What, a, like, we, what are we supposed to have an empty fridge? So sorry. It was a hard day today. You know what I mean? You can't quit your normal job because you got in a fight with your husband. You can't call up your job and say, Hey, can't come today. I just, <laughs> I'm not feeling it. My husband, my boyfriend and I got in like a fight and things were hard. You can't. So why is this optional? It's optional because all you did, you had to invest a hundred bucks and how many hundred bucks do you have in your closet that you've never worn? It was no big thing. It's no skin off of your back. Okay. And so consistency, I can tell you when I've been, I can tell you, I can tell you this because I've been consistent and I've been not consistent. And I watch the people who continue to be consistent, even when it seemed like nothing was happening. I can tell you what they've been able to do and what I've not been able to do because they were consistent when I wasn't. So in the first 
three years of my business, I was just consistent every single day, every day. I posted, I messaged, I follow up, I grew my network. I posted, I messaged, I follow up, I grew my network. I posted, I messaged, I follow up. I mean, I just did it every day showing up just like this. And it was enough. And honestly, you guys, people appreciate who you are. Stop trying to show up being perfect people. There are like, no one wants to see that you people want to see you with the hot mess, hair, smelling bad, staying up late, kid hanging off your boob, house is messy. You're driving your rusted out car. People see that they get that. They understand that they don't understand living a perfect life. They don't get that. Okay. They don't know. They don't understand things being good. They understand struggle. They understand being tired. You've got to show people that. Okay. And so I did that every day. I became the number three income earner. Now I've never fallen out of the top 10. My business has never taken a tumble. Our team is absolutely crazy. Amazing. And I've invested a lot of time into our lead. Like, so it depends on what I'm being consistent with, but there's also times for that, but that's another zoom for when you guys are diamonds and above. But, um, there was a time where when I got my 2.0, I got to double diamond in 60 days on my 2.0. And there were people in my life who were telling me that I was being selfish. And there were people in my life who were telling me that um, if I was going to continue to build my business like that and not make them money with this business and roll them and make them money, that that made me selfish because I already had so much. And so I started to like question who I was. It's really hard when the higher you go, you start to rise up and you start to become a better person. Um, it starts to kind of like, you know, like fluff the feathers of the people that are around you a little bit. You guys might've noticed that with your parents or with siblings or with your spouse, they, their feathers are a little ruffled a little bit. They're like, what are you doing here? You know what I mean? And so you start to kind of make them uncomfortable because you're coming outside of your comfort zone. And that vibe actually does affect other people. It's a very real thing. I'm sure you guys have experienced that. If you have, tell me below if you've experienced that. And so there were people who through this whole entire time of my, of my journey of doing big things, becoming a millionaire earner, buying my first two homes, just lots of amazing stuff. My dreams and stuff were fine for them until I was like, okay, I'm ready for even more. And then they started to question me and it really messed with my mind. Cause I was like, well, gosh, like these are the people who've been cool with me this whole time. And now they're questioning me. Am I selfish? And so instead of working on my 2.0, I kind of redirected in a different place in my business, still very thriving in good spot. But I stopped working on my 2.0 because I was like, I'm not worthy of this. This isn't like a thing. I'm not going to be able to do this. And so my 2.0 was double diamond for five years. I got to ambassador you guys in a year and a half and my 2.0 is double diamond for five years. And it was because I started to, it's not that I believed what they were saying was true is I was trying to piece together the reasons why it must be true if they thought those things of me, you know? And so what I, what I did was I watched over these five years when I was too afraid to run after the thing. I'm very capable. I've already done it. That's the thing. It's very different when you've already done it to wonder why you haven't done it again. And like, what's wrong with you? I mean, it's just this whole crazy experience to know, I like, I know I can do this, right? There's only, the only reason why I'm not, it's me now. I know that. So the only reason why you're not where you want to be, it's you. I can tell you that because I've been there. I've done that. And so um, after going to Costa Rica and sitting with these girls who are now double ambassador and being, and even Courtney uh, Vogel, Courtney Bohr, who's on our team. And I've been able to literally watch my back office and see the experience and like the journey from the inside and know exactly what's happening there. Why do they go double ambassador? And I didn't, why have they promoted to ambassador on their 2.0 and I didn't. And it's just purely because they just kept going. They were just consistent. They just kept going. And so the second time around, did it take a little longer? Yeah, but who the hell cares? Because guess what? Their five years passed and they're ambassador again. And my five years passed and I was not. Do you know what I mean? And so do you want to know what happened? I made a decision. I was like, well, I don't know what I'm doing. I've got more kids, less time. I feel like I'm more, more of a hot mess than I've ever been. I feel so just like, oh my gosh, now I've, now I've stopped being me and being true to myself and being true to the things that work for me for so long, trying to like impress other people and do stupid stuff 
that like, I don't even like, I'm, I feel so fresh and new. And it was this like really crazy, exciting fearfulness. I was ignorance on fire again, which is the best thing that you could ever be is have no idea what you're doing. Just figure, just do whatever you can to figure it out to get there. And so I decided to just show up with whatever I had, even though it felt like not enough. And in five months, I went from nothing to triple diamond on my 2.0. So good. It's so good. And it's so crazy. And it's so crazy because like you were saying, like, you're like, your 2.0 is like five years old and, and I'm in the fifth year of my business and I just went triple. So I feel like your journey with your 2.0 and then our journey with our team has been very similar. And I love what you said, because, um, I think it applied, like you, you said like, Oh, like once you've done it once, and then you're like, why can't I do this again? You can break that down all the way to enrolling a distributor. You can break that down all the way to enrolling a customer. If you have enrolled one customer, you can go do it again. If you have enrolled one distributor, you can go do it again and you know how to do it and you know that you're capable of it and you know that you're worth, you, you, you want to be worthy of it. So what's stopping you? You, you're, you're stopping you. You, I, it's too far away. There's too many people on my team not working. The, I don't have enough time. I've got too many kids. This baby won't get off my boob, whatever, whatever reasons you have, it's just you. And so I love that you said that you're like, I've already been ambassador once and why am I not going for it again? Um, it's the same with every enrollment, with every promotion, with every bon every time you've gotten a fast start bonus, every time your check has gone up and not down, you know how to do those things. And so then if they're not happening, instead of sitting in this, well, what's wrong with me? What am I doing wrong? What, 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 is ha what is happening? What is happening around me? And you get like frozen in this. You just do the things that you know that you know how to do because you know that you know how to do them because you've done them before. Um, and, but I, and then I love what you said about staying true to yourself because it's so true. It's like when you, when you stop being authentic, it's like people can smell it. It's so wild because it's over social media. So you think that people can't tell, but they can. And that's when being vulnerable and being authentic is really genuinely important. Um, which is kind of leads into my next thing that I would love for you to talk about, um, this, this is going to be, it's me, it's me and Jade on a zoom tonight. So we're going to be a little red, but, um, if you're not using the products, nobody's going to buy the products from you, you guys, <laughs> like period, like you need to be loving and using and appreciating the products that we have our hands on. Um, otherwise there's no reason for them to invest in the product. So you have to invest in this business for them to invest in this business. You need to invest in the products to have other people invest in the product. So I would love for you to talk about, cause I know you have an amazing journey with our products and you're like still on it. Cause now you're like taking the TFX and doing more stuff. But I would love for you to talk a little bit about just that investment into your business to be running your auto shipment, be using the products yourself and also the investment of time. Because I feel like we're very used to we're used to being coin pushers, right? There's that old video by Carrie Young that talks about being a coin pusher versus an entrepreneur. We're used to that instant gratification. I put this in, I, I clock in, I get money out. I clock in, I get money out. This is way more of an investment type of business. Um, so I would love for you to talk about in both the products and the business. So, um, you know, when I started my business, uh, things were very different. We did not have the same products that we have now. Holy moly. Oh my God. They were so different, but, um, you know, I couldn't afford to buy anything. Is anybody, has anybody broke by any chance? Like I couldn't even, I couldn't buy Like I didn't have a printer. I hand drew all of my charts till I was double diamond and I did a damn, I can draw a straight line. You would never know the difference between my straight line and a ruler. Okay. With or without, but, um, I started selling products right away. And that is a beautiful thing, right? You don't have to buy anything. We don't, we, we're not a pyramid scheme, right? You guys don't, you guys aren't buying $400 worth of inventory and turning around and hoping you can sell it like my mom did when she sold makeup, you know, back in 2005 or whatever it was. We, we, we don't have that. But, but, okay. I remember when I was selling the wraps and people would come to me, it was like my first three people and they were like, they, it didn't do anything. I used one and it didn't do anything. And I was like, Oh God, Oh God, okay. Oh God, this is making me really nervous. Cause everybody's saying it doesn't work and I didn't get it. Right. 
And then I, then I used my first wrap and I wore my first wrap and I still to this day have my before and after pictures. And you guys, I swear to God, I went from like this to like this. And I was like, oh, no one's going to come up here and tell me that these do not work because I went from that to that. And it was in that moment that I realized that like part of like your investment in this business is not even like it's a big chunk of your investment is like not just money, but it's time, but it's also belief. Belief is a very, very big part of investment with your business. Okay. And so I always kind of say it like this. If you went to a car dealership and there's a man sitting there and he's like, or whoever, a woman, I don't care who. And he's like, dude, this is, this Toyota is the best car. This is the best car that you could ever drive. It will keep you safe. It'll change your life. I've got a family of five, you know, that I would never drive anything else. And he, and then you see him go on lunch break and he's driving a Honda and you'd be like, what the hell are you even to buy this from you you're not even driving the car that you're selling now there is a difference between a man who does that and then someone else who's riding a bike because they can't afford it you would look at them different it's a different essence right to be passionate about something but just you know what i'm saying it's just a different thing and so the best thing that you could ever do for your business is find one thing find one thing i don't care if it's compianza i don't i don't care what it is you're going to use it you're going to feel a difference and you're going to feel really good find at least one thing that you can be consistent with. I never knew that I was going to lose weight. I never knew I was going to like go through a really bad time in my life where I gained so much weight and had a miscarriage and had more babies. I never knew I was going to be 236 pounds. I never knew I was going to like someday get out of the shower and not even want to look at myself because I was just like, who even am I anymore? You know, I didn't know that that was going to happen. And so I remember what it was like the day that I realized that I'm, this is not going to be a quick fix. The only thing that's going to make this quick is if I go get liposuction and I'm not doing it because I'm like afraid of like dying or something. And so I remember the day that I committed to using my products every t single day. And when I saw my body, not just like, you know, when I was 22, go from this to this, but when I saw myself be a, a woman and like a mom of two, who was a little like more like older than I was before and see myself lo lose all this weight, you guys, people don't want you to show up skinny now. They don't like, that's not the thing. People just want to see you in your journey. You know what I mean? That's why the Kardashians have been going on for 72 years is because we're just seeing on them, seeing them on their journey every day. So I don't care if it's hair, skin and nails or the collagen or the skincare or the weight loss products, use them, commit, use them every day, drink your coffee, take your TFX, take fat fighters, take Compianza, do it every single freaking day for, for 90 days. Your body will change and you'll be able to stand up and get in front of people and say, these things work. When someone messages me and they ask me, does this work? Yeah. Like I, I, that's part of my message for TFX and comfy and, uh, for the coffee. I say, I actually lost 60 pounds using these products. So I can firsthand say it works. And that's the name of our company. Cause it does work. So that, that doing that again, it can just be one thing. I don't care what it is. No, I was just about to suggest like it's BOGO hair, skin, nails right now. Go into your e-suite and get two bottles of hair, skin, nails for $36. You will have 60 days supply. Sell a couple sample packs to get your, <laughs> your third bottle in a, in a couple months. Use your commissions, bust your booty, make some fast starts mm -hmm. um, and do a 90 day hair, skin, nails challenge. That's why I started my business. I just wanted hair, skin, nails, and I ended up joining the business instead. And so I ordered hair, skin, nails with my business kit because I was already putting it on a credit card and I started to grow out my hair and I started to see results. And then I was just like, Jade, I tried my first wrap. I went from like this to like this. And I was like, Oh heck yes. I don't even need to see the rest of the products. I know that this is legit. I saw it for myself. Here's the pictures to prove it. And that was the first week of my business. And now I've been here for five years. So find one thing that you can, I love what you said, you can invest your belief. Find one thing that you can invest your belief in and that will trickle out to every other part of your business. And it will give you that confidence um, to say, heck yes, this works. You should try it. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, and you can show up using it every single day as well. So, um, yeah, super, super love that. So, um, cause it's true. It's like belief is the piece. 
belief is the missing ingredient. Like you can show up every single day or not. Like you can like, but if you don't believe it and by it, I mean like yourself, your capability, your, your, in your, in your dreams, in the company, in the products, in your team and what you're doing every day, if that belief is not there and you haven't invested that belief into this so hard that like, I don't know. I feel like when I started this business, it was like, you could pry it out of my cold dead hands. Like I wasn't going to give this up for anything. I wasn't going to give up this opportunity, these products, my dreams, my goals, like you could take them out of my cold dead hands. Like I wasn't going to give them up because I believed in myself. Um, and I believed in this and I believed in the company and I believed in the products just from those first few things that I tried. Um, that was so amazing. So this kind of goes into my next thing, which is, um, uh, like this was my plan a and there was no plan b um i did not give myself any sort of outs when i joined this business i wasn't like oh i'll try it for 30 days and then like we'll kind of just see where i'm at and then like we'll see how like i joined and this was plan a and there was no plan b and that's good for the beginning part um but i feel like as you go through the business and you go through the motions. I have a lot of girls who have, I mean, I've been in for five years. So I have a lot of girls on the team now who two years, three years, four years. Um, it can be hard when things get hard, like hello, 2020 has been no cakewalk for any singular human being. Um, and I feel that I have a lot of girls who do, they start to like, God, should this be my plan A? Is this even going to keep working for me? Things feel so weird. I feel so weird. This feels so hard. My kids are home forever, perpetually, and now I have to homeschool them. Like, Lord, help us all. Um, so what So what would you say to people who um, this, this is their plan A or this was their plan A, and now they're like sort of looking around at like plan B and C? Like, just about keeping that focus. Cause I know, and you know, that focus, it focus and decision-making and belief is the, is the magic that makes it happen. But, um, do you kind of get where I'm going with this? Like you have to just make it plan. You have to just make it plan a and not have a plan B. <laughs> well, I mean, some of it too, you guys, it's just our chemical makeup of our brain. I don't even think people, so I've got someone on my team who's like, I don't understand why every single month there's just this time frame, this like this week that I just get so stressed out and I just, um, I doubt myself and I don't know if I like want to do this anymore. I'm like, yeah, dude, it's called PMS. Like, why are you like, you're just PMSing. You don't even know if you like your husband for that week. You're like maybe contemplating divorce, like shut up, calm down, you know, damn. We're all getting like, we all have feelings, but that doesn't mean that you, you're like, oh God. I mean, like, just cause you've got road rage doesn't mean you actually need to run the person off the road, like the bridge. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like we just, your brain is a really funny thing, but you actually have to re fall in love with things every two to four years. Have you guys been married before? I don't know. You don't always like your spouse. You change they change. Your kids are constantly changing. You've got to re fall in love with things and you've got to rediscover stuff. So if you've been a part of this business for a couple of years and you're wondering, like you're, you know, you can be gung ho in the beginning. Now I will tell you, I was not gung ho. I was not gung ho. This was life or death for me. Meaning I've already, like, I already did the plan B things. Plan B came first. I'm not an idiot. I grew up with a mom who was never home and I, I grew up with the like, ain't no man going to control me. I'm an independent, badass woman kind of vibe. Like that's what I did. So I already did the plan B's. I already had extra jobs and sold stuff. And I was already doing hair out of my bathroom. And I was already couponing and canceling bills and calling for discounts. I already did the things that everybody else is wondering if that's going to be the thing that's going to solve them. their broke problems. Already been there. It doesn't work. You can't coupon yourself out of being broke. So I treated this like it was my plan A because there was no other option for me to be a mom and make money at the same time. There is no other way that you could do that. Okay. And so if you've been here and you're like, this isn't, you know, I don't know. It's because you, you, it's, it's not an A, a plan A or a plan B. You don't know why you're here. <laughs> like you don't, you're like, is this, is this for me? Can this be for me? Like, what do you want? What are you, what do you, what do I have that you want? 
do you walk around feeling like there is a like deep injustice for the fact that there's someone else just like you out there in the world that has more than you have? You need to start, stop feeling sorry for yourself and just start getting really annoyed and angry that like you live the way that you live and that there's someone else out there, whether it's, even if it's Beyonce, that lives a better life than you. That does, that's not, afraid to check their mail, that's not afraid to check their emails, that's not afraid to answer phone calls, that they don't know the number. You've got to decide that like that life or whatever it might be, whatever you want more of or whatever things are not okay, you need to decide that that's not the way, that's not acceptable anymore. I had to do that. And I'm a top 10 income earner. I've got a millionaire's trophy sitting across from me. I had the reason why I had to come into this and be like, I'm going for it again is because I had to decide that I love what I have and I'm appreciative for what I have, but this isn't all that's there for me. And I'm grateful, but I want even more because my kids deserve it because there's so there's, this is not it for me. There's people out there who have more. So if they have more than I sure as hell deserve more too, you know what I mean? So I think that you've got to find this unsettling thing. If you are where you are right now and you've been there for a long time, it's because you've just accepted the fact that this just must be how my life has to be. This is just how my life is. Yeah, says who? You, you've accepted that. But at what point is how you're living, even if it's fine, at what point is fine not going to be good enough anymore? You, that's, I mean, if you guys are not vacationing at Disney for a month and working this business still before you die, you're missing out. And that's not even actually that expensive to do. <laughs> like to tell you, like there's so many other things. Yeah. There's other ways so to live we, in that way. Yeah. So we, so, so, and it, and you just have to pick that next, that next thing. So if right now you're like, we, my car is just not, so this was what it was for me. I didn't have a car. I didn't have my own car. We, we shared Tyler's car when I got started with this business and that was not okay with me anymore. I really, really needed to get my own vehicle again. Mine crapped out on me. And I knew that I needed to make like $300 a month so that I could go get a car with a car payment because I needed, I needed to get a car. I needed to have a car. And that was my unacceptable. And then it's grown over time. So now you guys, it's like, we live in this townhouse that my in-laws bought and I am so grateful for them because we got like told we had to move out within like 50 days of our last place with like a, a, we had like a five week old baby. And so I'm like, so grateful that his parents were able to like buy this place and move in. And like, it's very nice and it's very safe, but our backyard is like this big. And my son just started walking a couple of weeks ago and he just like wants to get out. And it's like, we can either walk out in the parking lot or he can crawl around in the gravel in the backyard. And that is just so unacceptable to me at this point. I have to buy a house. I have to buy a house with a yard. I have to buy a house with land for my son to grow up on. And I refuse to feel selfish or, or weird because I've already achieved so much like no like that it is not acceptable to me anymore that my son doesn't have a yard to play in i don't want him to have that kind of life and so i have you have to just figure out what that what that point is in your life right now for you it may not be buying a house or buying a car maybe it's just you can't pay all your bills on time right now and that is the fuel to your fire you're like this is unacceptable to me that i can't pay all my bills at one time on auto pay and then you have to go out there and you have to do what you need to do to get it done Um, but you just need to, when you hash that all back, remember that what we do is very simple. I think sometimes I look at like buying a house and first we have to pay off debt and then I have to repair my credit score and then I have to do this and that. And I start getting so worried. And then I remember that what we do in this business is so simple. Jade already told us you post, you message, you follow up, you grow your network, you do it every day. You post, you message, you grow your network, you follow up, you do it every day. Um, so hashing it back into, I don't know if you guys are using that KPI tracker, um, from Amber Parker, but I've been handing it out to my girls. I've been using it just because it's very straightforward. I love checking off boxes, but the best daily list is the one that works for you. The best daily list is the one that you do every day. I'm not saying KPI is like the Bible or anything like that, but you need to have a daily list and you need to be crossing off those boxes every day. 
um, because that's the focus. So it's like, know what's unacceptable to you, know where you're going, know why you're here. And then you need to start showing up to do the things that you know you need to do every day. Cause that was, that's the hard part for me sometimes is like, I have this very broad, like grand, like I want to buy a house. And then I get really overwhelmed by like what that even, <laughs> like what that even looks like and how much money I need to make for that. So then I have to just like come back down and like send a hundred messages. <laughs> Otherwise I get like so frazzled in all of the other things that I need to do. So it's like, stop, figure out what you want and then just sit down and do the work that you know that you need to do. Cause like I said before, if you've enrolled one customer, you know how to enroll a customer. If you enrolled a distributor, you know how to enroll a distributor. So this is the last thing. And you and I talked about it a little bit when I was asking you to do this soon, just about just making that decision. We talked about having a vision. We just kind of covered that your vision of what you want for your life, what's unacceptable in your life right now that you want to be different. Um, our team is going ambassador by the end of the year. You know that you and I have been talking about this since the beginning of the year, since conference. Um, I, I have, we all go through growth. We all go through craziness. My husband came home from March. Kids have been home, all the craziness. It is still on my heart to do that and to be one of your next ambassador diamond leaders, which means a lot of growth, a lot of promotions, a lot of these spaces that you're seeing here tonight, being diamonds and above, being VIPs. Um, so talk, talk to us, Jade, tell us what do, what would you have us do? You know what I mean? Like if we're your 2.0 and we're triple diamond right now and we got to go ambassador, where are we going? What, what are we, what would you have us do? Well, I think the big question, I mean, if you feel like you're on that edge where you're like, I want to go in, all in, but like, I'm not, I think it always comes down to this fear of what if I do all of this and then it's for nothing. I mean, I think that that's the fear, the ultimate fear that everybody has. What if I, what if, what if I do all this and it's not enough? What if I give all that I can and I'm just disappointed in the end? And I don't know like what other, like how you were raised, but for normal life that we were raised, the nine to five school, like all of that, that's how life is. But here, when you're the, when you're the boss, when you run the show, that's not a thing. You can't like water boils at 212 degrees, period. Okay. So if you heat it up, it will just boil. That's just what happens. And that's how this business is. You've got to stop being afraid that you're going to do all this stuff. What if I have the sleepless nights and what if how many people and what is this going to look like? I don't know what it's going to look like, but if you started to show up in like immaculate ways, 10 times more than you are now, you're going to get 10 times more results. And I will tell you that I have stayed up late. I've gotten up early. I've a multitask. I've cried. I've had good days. I've had bad days, but like, it's all a part of the journey. It's all so, so, so normal. I think the last seven years have looked like this year for me because this year has not been all bad. I've had such big wins too, just overcoming fears and just my husband doing things and like taking care of his health in ways he never has. I grew so patient with my kids. I like, I mean, I honed in and I really figured out the things that I wanted out of my life. Like they're with always hard things. They're such amazing, like lessons, like, so stop being afraid, but until you get yourself to 200, I don't even care if you're 210 degrees, water's still not going to boil. It's only going to boil once you hit that point. So you've got to stop being afraid. What I can tell you is what I know for sure. And what I know to be certain, cause this is going to be the eighth time I've done this is that this time right now of year is so magical. There are so many people who are sitting around doing nothing because they're like, I'm stressed out. Everybody's stressed out. I'm talking to people. No one wants this. They don't have money. They don't have this. They don't have that. But here's the deal right now is kind of that like silent, but deadly. Like if you plant a seed in the ground, the, 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 the roots grow down first before anything pops up. There's so much growth that you're not even going to see. And you've got to build this business because this is the truth. Some one person is going to take this serious out of all of you. Just one of you will take this seriously when I say this and it's going to be me. No, I'm getting, but there is one person. I can tell you that for sure, because you're going to know who took this seriously. You've got to treat this business right now that like, 
every single person that you talk to is going to join your business come January. This is seed planting season. This is guys, again, we, I don't care if it's four years ago, it doesn't matter. We don't need what happened this year to, for us to be broke. Were you, were you never broke before now? (laughs) Like I was broke along for a long time. I didn't need this year to happen to be broke before. And this is school and Christmas is going to come. And there's going to be people who are following you who are going to say this girl, this guy, who's just like me, who comes from where I come from, who has a past just like me, decided the way that I am living is unacceptable and they're do something about it, right? They're doing something about it. And so on January 1st, they make their new year's resolutions. They make their first dream board and they say, I'm going to change all of this. And what are they going to do? They're going to look to you because they watched you change all of this. You don't even have to be there yet. But people want to get on a plane that has a captain that at least knows where they're going. You don't get on a plane that's already in California. You get on a plane that's going to California, right? That's where people, people just want to be a part of of, of something where people are doing something that matters and changing lives, doing something of impact for themselves. So if you guys want to promote, and this isn't even about hope. Hope going ambassador is for hope going ambassador. What it means for you is that you're just a part of a greater movement that when I went ambassador, there were three other people that went presidential diamond. There were six other people that went triple diamond. There were hundreds of diamonds. It's just a a big old movement. You know, when, when I got started in this business, I never thought that there'd be other people putting food in their fridge. When I started this business, I never, ever, when I became a millionaire, earner. I never thought I like, you don't think about anybody else, but you doing it is giving permission to all of yous of the world that are going to join your team to have more, you know, everybody else who's walking around like you, they're like, Oh, I'm, I'm Mexican. I'm not able to change my life. And you're like, hell yeah, I'm Mexican and I'm changing my life. Someone's like, Oh, like, you know, I'm gay. So like things are just a little harder for us. And someone's like, hell yeah, I'm gay. And I'm doing something about it. I'm going to change my life. Right. Someone else is like, Oh, I'm a single mom. Like things are just really hard for me. I just have to like, I'm on the government assistance and like whatever in the food stamp. So like, we're just, I mean, we're just trying to make it afloat. And someone else is like, hell yeah, I'm a single mom and I'm going to go do something about this. Do you know what I mean? So who are you and who are you impacting? You need to find those people all the things that make you different. You've got to stop feeling sorry for yourself about those things and go show up and do something about those things. Talk about those things and find the people who are just like you. Because what I did was I just created a movement of a crap ton of jades and they all look so different and it trickles down to every single one of you guys or something in you that very much is the same as me. It can be very different, but there's still at least one thing. And so that's what it's going to do. And so in order for you to come in here and change your life is you've got to be focused. You've got to be determined. You've got to have a little bit of grit because you can have three good days and you can the next, like you can have three great days and the next day sucks, but you can't call into work because you've got a bad day, right? You've got to show up anyways. You've got to be like, oh no, mm -mm, this is not how my day is going to go. It is 1045 and my butt will not go to bed until at least I get three names in my calendar, whatever that looks like. Most of the time, I mean, people don't even realize this. I built my business literally feeling like every day was a bad day and being like, oh no, mm -mm, no, this is not how this is going to end. I did not come this far to come this far. I have not cried this many times to have it end like this. And I would force myself to just go even balls to the wall harder. And it was in those moments that it was late and I was exhausted and my eyes were going cross-eyed because I was so tired that those, that was the moment that I would find the people who wanted to do this. You know what I mean? So you all, I mean, why, why, why does it, why do you have to get to this point? I, like, it's just how it is, you know, what kind of people do, I mean, if you have been enrolling people and they haven't been working, well, I wonder why, you know, if you're just showing up to do just enough to say you're doing something, the people who you enroll are going to do just that. If you want to enroll people who are like psycho crazy, excited to like change their whole life and like just fire and like killer workers, there, everybody on your team is only going to do 75% of what you do. And if you're only given 50%, 
I mean, damn, you know what I mean? So you've got to really show up and show out to really set a standard for what's going to be happening with your team, but that, but know that you can do it. And that's just like, I was talking about of just like putting that extra oomph in it. And like, I know like in the VIP page, I remember, I can't remember how long ago it was, but somebody was like, I feel like last time I promoted, like it was with, like it, I worked so hard and it was with God and you just commented and you were like, I think every promotion happens with God, but it's like, but you have, but it has to be both. Like you have to pray, you have to ask for it. You have to be in the mindset, you have to be in the gratitude and you have to put some oomph in it. I have never promoted, legitimately promoted to any kind of doubling my income or replacing my full-time income or making an amazing bonus by just doing my daily list. That's your daily list is great. And your daily list is there for those hard days. This has been a brutal day. My kids are crazy. My husband, this, 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 I'm going to do this list. I'm going to get up this many hosts to post. I'm going to get this many names in my calendar. That's what the list is for. It's a guideline. It's on your hardest days. You have this checklist so you can check off the boxes, but I have never changed my life working off of a daily checklist. You change your life when you just work like your hair's on fire all the time and drink a lot of skinny brew <laughs> and and let your life be the way and let your life be the way that it is and, and Jade has been doing this by example and also telling us all year long which is just to choose the joy in those moments where it's crazy and you can't and your kids are up. like can you just be happy in that moment to spend that time with your kids can you just choose to be grateful in that moment because you know that you'll get to it when you can but you can't right now um because that's super that's super powerful too i think mm -hmm. like yes it's important to work like your hair is on fire but it's also important like when you literally physically cannot do that how are you how you do anything is how you do everything right so what are you also doing in those times when you can't and how are you reacting and how are and what energy are you putting out it makes a huge difference too yeah. I mean, well, and one thing I was talking to Amber Parker about the KPI and I think she even said this, like she does like KPI trainings every week or mm -hmm. however, however often. And she said, she said on there, uh, you're not going to go diamond doing this just one time. So like my rule of thumb, I mean, oh my God, no, I never had a list. I just did it all the time, always as much as I could. That's another, yeah. thing. <laughs> that's a, that's like the rule of my life. How much do I have to do? Just however much, just who cares? You just go to the maximum level. There's not like, oh, do I have to do X amount? And then I've got free time. I didn't have free time. I needed my life to change. We didn't have food and I didn't yeah. have gas, like whatever I had to do. But if you want like a, like a rule, if you want to go diamond, do it three times as much as the KPI says to do. If you want to go yeah. ambassador, do it 10 times as much as it says, you know, you have to do, but yeah. I mean, my God. And like, then you just, and then the other thing that you taught me too, is just like, and then you do set aside, you have a date night, you have a family day that way you are make, I mean, balance is such bullshit and you and I know that, but you do have that time where you are intentionally taking, taking your phone, turning it off, putting it away to spend time with your family and the people that are important to you. Also, if you're fighting if, with, Spouse, yeah. If you're fighting with your spouse, normally, again, it's another feather ruffle thing. Like, oh, they're giving this, it's like a jealousy thing. Pencil your spouse in. You don't need to fight. It doesn't need to be this or that. If you're, I'm sorry, I'm not like a marriage counselor, but I mean, we've been together for 14 years. Yeah. If your spouse is telling you this or that, that's, there's, that's, it's not the business that's the problem. That's one thing. But pencil in your spouse, pencil in that time. I've got kid time. And I've got spouse time and I'll tell you guys something, my kid time right now, it's so long. It's like five <laughs> hours at night, but it's because there's so many of them and they spread out. I can't, I don't yeah. even know what all of them are at one time. And so in that moment, what I like to be working during that five hours, yes, I've, oh my God, like, holy cow, man, yeah. guys, if I had more time, I would be doing many more things. But just like Hope said, I'm just like, I've got a Marie Kondo my life or I'm going to be torturing myself and constantly right. grasping at reasons why I can't. You can't do. like live in this constant state of like you're working and you feel like you should be with your kids, but then you're with your kids and you feel like you should be working. Like you are going to live in a perpetual state of guilt and weirdness and and that's not, hold on. And that's not the way to, um, 
exhibit I A. I just muted you. I just, I just muted you again. You'll have to unmute yourself. But um, you'll have to, you'll have to, you can't do that. You can't live in a perpetual state of funky, weird guiltness, or, or your belief is not there. Your worthiness level is not going to be there. Um, it's just not going to happen for you. So you need to, you need to make sure that so I, I, I do, I do take a quote unquote Sabbath. It's only once a week. I do it from Saturday nights until Sunday afternoons. It's okay. It's not like a full 24 hours. It's like an 18 hour period, but from Saturday night at like six o'clock, I turn off until Sunday afternoon. And that's my, and that, and then we have a date night on Wednesdays. And during the, um, during the Sabbath, I'm still sort of doing things for my business. I'm doing a lot of personal development. I'm doing a lot of journaling. I'm doing a lot of affirmations. And that's when I'm doing like all of my self-care for the week. I'm like taking a nice long hot shower. I'm putting on my lashes. I'm like doing the things that I need to do to feel so, so good about my week. So I don't look at it that as wasted time. I look at that as like very crucial time for my mind and for my body and for my family so that I can come back Sunday afternoon and then I've already done it on Saturday. So I'm not even actually missing a whole day of my, of my business. I'm doing things every single day. Um, but you're make, but I'm making that time to pour into myself also. So I just wanted to put that in there too, because there was a period of time in my business where I didn't take a day off for four and a half years, whether I was getting married or having a baby or having a miscarriage or anything else. And that's, and it was good because it got me where I wanted to be. But I also feel now with this level of, of development that I've been doing the last six months, you do also, you can't pour from an empty cup. So make sure that you are, even if you can't turn off, take rest, take time, take self care, um, and, and do that good personal development daily. But also I dig into it really hardcore on like Sunday mornings when I wake up, I don't even look at my phone. I dig in with God. I pray, I journal, I affirm, I get my mind right and then I jump back into it because that's a super important piece of it as well. So um, Jade, I am, so, I am so grateful for you. Thank you for doing this for us. Thank you for being on with us. Your, your passion and your leadership is such a blessing um, to all of us. I know we all feel that way. I speak for everyone. Um, any, anything else? Anything else for, for the girls tonight? Girls and guys? I would just say... Um... You know, I can expect this, the rest of this year to be stupid, you know, I think it's like a, probably level nine of Jumanji unlocked. We're now in <laughs> September. <laughs> like Carol Baskin's on Dancing with the Stars. Maybe it'll just plot twist. Maybe it'll be fine. Maybe it'll all be great. It was like, what? Oh my God. Like the crown <laughs> disappears. Like what is happening? I think that, um, yeah, I think you, you, you just make the choice to just hop in and do all the things that make you like feel gross, like uncomfortable. Whenever I feel like I'm getting hot and sweaty and like want to throw up because I'm afraid, that's the sign that I need to do that. That's the, yeah. that's the surprise is that everybody in life told us that if things make us feel like that, that we need to run from them. And the real, the actual truth is that that's a sign that that's exactly what you need to be yes. doing. That's like you literally getting hit physically like with your comfort zone and as soon as you grow outside of that that's when you i mean your whole life changes so if you feel like you've been feeling that way congratulations that's your but you've actually you have to deal with that and that's the only yeah. way that you're going to be able to to reach everything that's on your dream board is to just bust through those right things. and you just and then you just continue to do that and like every single day you wake up and it's a fresh day and you make the choices and you do the things and you do just one more and you, and, and it's doesn't, it's not going to get easier. I think is, is the point. <laughs> it's not going to get easier. Your kids are not going to calm down. Your spouse is not going to become more supportive immediately. Like it's going to take time. And, um, it's just like you said, sort of near the beginning, which is just that, um, it's, it's just hard, but it like the stuff that you have to push through is hard but it's so worth it compared to the other hards that you would have to spend your life and your time and your energy and your like emotional dollars, like trying to do for your family. Yeah. What I like, what I rather, you want to know like the worst 
the worst pain is handing over my kids to people who don't love them like I do and just know that I'm not going to see them again until like 11 o'clock at night and I'm not actually going to see them. And then also knowing that I'm doing that and I st we still can't like have what yeah. we need. Versus it's like a, it's like a lose crying, lose. Like yeah. versus cr I'm crying on my couch because I can't because I can't because I'm afraid to message people. Crap! I will take the message. I will, I will message. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. That's Versus what, it's like, would you rather, like, you, it's like a really twisted game of would you rather. Like, would you rather work, I was working 60 plus hours a week. I was working doubles Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I was taking three classes at the community college. I was planning my wedding and I would pay my bills, put $10 of gas in my car and I would have 75 cents. Would I rather do that or message as many people as I possibly can, go live, be in my Instagram story, lead my team, go through the hard stuff, watch people quit, watch, like all, like I would rather do the second one <laughs> every single day, especially now that I have babies. And if you don't have babies and it's something else for you. Before I had babies, it was legit just my fiance. He's my best friend. We'll have been together for 10 years this year. I just didn't want to not see him all week long. So if it's not kids for you, it's something else for you. You know why you're here. You're on the Zoom for a reason. You're on this team for a reason. Um, God does not call the qualified. He qualifies the called. And you were called. And you are here. So you are qualified. Um, including you, Jade. I'm so excited to like be doing this with you. Like going presidential, going ambassador, going through the motions, dealing with this crazy year. Um, I'm just super grateful because yeah, like you're, you're a leader, but we're also doing this side by side right now. So How fun, it's just right? Awesome. I was just thinking, I'm like, damn, that's kind of badass that we get to do it together. It's fun. We do. That's like, we're basically just right at the same precipice. Like your 2.0 is five years in next week is my five years in like, and we're just pushing for ambassador because we're worthy and what we want is bigger than what we don't want to do every single day because we're PMSing, which was literally me last week. I was like, I don't even know if I like doing this anymore. And then like, I literally got my period the next day. I and can't I was like, do oh, <laughs> oh, like, no, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Like, my God, you don't want to quit your business. You just need to eat ice cream, <laughs> like take yeah. my, I just like, need to put on some new eyelashes and sit on the couch and watch Shit's Creek for a couple hours. I felt better. I was fine. I was really, it's fine. I love what we, I do, actually. Um, all right, guys. Thank you so much for being on with us, Jade. It is such an honor. I will get this recording up. It will be on my YouTube. You can search my name. Um, and we love you and we appreciate you. And we'll talk soon. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.